So Joe, can you tell us um, a little bit about how elk rearranged lung cancers are treated? Yeah, happy to. Now we've known about the these elk rearrangements for quite a while. They're one of the early mutations that that we we found out about. Um, and it's been really remarkable to see how much progress we've made in in drug therapy. So, like many of our mutations, we treat these preferentially with an oral pill that targets the mutation. So it's really a really a, a tailored treatment for your specific genetic kind of lung cancer. And these pills are really effective, more so even than some of our other targeted types of therapies. Um, there have been a number of these over the years, but but really there are three that I would consider best in class. Um, a drug called electinib, one called brigatinib, and a third one called lorlatinib. And each of those is a little bit newer, maybe a little bit better than its predecessor, although they haven't been tested head to head. All of them are very effective. They're much more likely to be effective in not just controlling the cancer, but shrinking it. And a really important breakthrough is that they're effective pretty much no matter where in your body the cancer is. You know, one feature of ALK um, rearranged lung cancer is for whatever reason it loves to spread to the brain. And, and that's been a problem for us historically because a lot of our drugs just don't penetrate into the brain. But all of these drugs are very effective in controlling cancer in the brain as well as outside of the brain. Um, and they're so effective that, um, you know, when I see a patient with newly diagnosed um, ALK lung cancer, I tell them, you know, we're likely going to be able to control this for a long time, and a long time is, is years. Like all of our targeted therapies, um, unfortunately, these can wear off. The cancer can become resistant to them. And, and again, there's a lot of research uh, being done in that area. This is where it may be important which of them you start with. So for example, we know that patients who start on electinib, the oldest of the three modern treatments, um, may still respond to the newest one, which is called orlatinib. And, and one thing that can help determine the likelihood of that happening is getting a repeat biopsy. So one thing, if you're in the unfortunate situation where the drug has stopped working, that you should for sure talk to your, your doctor about is getting a repeat biopsy to try to understand why the drug stopped working. And the other thing that's really important to look at is participation in clinical trials. There are lots of um, doctors around the world working on new innovative ways to, to treat this specific kind of lung cancer when standard therapies have stopped working. Another exciting development for ELK um, positive lung cancer is, and historically these treatments are only for people with advanced lung cancer, where the cancer is spread outside the lung or where surgery is not an option. A more recent study looked at people with early ELK positive lung cancer who'd had surgery and ask the question, if we treat with one of these medications after surgery, can we prevent the cancer from coming back? And that looked at specifically the drug electinib and, and was a resounding yes. It really reduced the risk of the cancer coming back. And we expect the FDA to give that approval very soon. But I think the evidence already is so strong that really that's something that you would want to talk to your doctor about, whether that would be an option for you if the um, gene abnormality is identified and you've had surgery.